Hi, this is John from Chicago. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm bringing you the um, Beta FPV 75X Digital. Uh, this had uh, 40 millimeter propellers and uh, I've been using, flying it for about three weeks. I've been pretty good. I haven't broken it until yesterday. Uh, Yesterday I was doing, uh, I was flying outside 40 degrees so it's cold and plastic doesn't like cold and the batteries don't like cold so it didn't have the power that it had in previous days and when I was doing power loops it just didn't have enough power to pull out so I ended up uh, breaking the frame. So I'm in the process of moving the frame over to this uh, spare frame I had, uh, 85 millimeter and it's ten dollars for the frame and another three dollars for the props uh... two inch props uh... so i'm moving this over and i'm going to have a uh... similar quad but it'd be like their eighty five x uh... for another thirteen dollars more uh... so i'm in the process of moving that over um, like i said the motors it's carbon plates a little thicker so you need longer motor screws um, and uh... next step would be to move the flight control board over and the um, um, RX, uh, I have an XM Plus that's in here, move that in there and then put the canopy which has the Vista uh, Nebula unit on it and put that on and I should be all set to go. Uh, I'll test it out. Uh, my, my guess is it's going to have more thrust because it's uh, bigger props. Uh, the electronics and everything is the same from one unit to the other, the motor sizes and speeds are the same. These are 1103 motors at 8,000 kV. Um, so my guess is it's going to have more thrust because of the bigger diameter props and that should give it a little bit more speed. It also gives it another 10 grams of weight so it might not be quite as nice flying it indoors but um, it uh, will give it a test and see how it compares. We um, completed the 85 millimeter build. Everything transferred over pretty good. It's pretty quick. Um, the only problem that I didn't accomplish yet would be that carbon piece on the bottom, but it should fly fine without it. It's just not quite as strong. Uh, and when I get longer screws, I'll uh, put the carbon on. Uh, the other thing I could do is I have an extra frame. I can, um, 75 millimeter frame, I could always go back to the size that I had before. Uh, it was a $5 frame, um, and the 85 is a $10 frame. So you could uh, switch back and forth between the two whenever you want. It takes about uh, 20 minutes. So it's one of the good things about this quad. It's interchangeable. Okay, let's put some goggles on and see how it flies. I was flying um, the 85X around the house in a slow manner. It's called proximity flying. I have the camera tilted down a little bit, so it's looking straight out so you could fly slower. And it's just fun just flying around the house and trying to just miss everything. The 85X and the 75X are fly pretty similarly around the house like this. Um, I think if you hit something, you'd notice it more with the 85X, though, since it weighs 10 grams more. But they're both able to hit fairly small gaps. Here we're going now with the 75X um, over some of the same paths see how this does. Like I said, they both feel pretty similar when you're flying them like this. I suppose the gaps, you might be able to get through something a little bit smaller with a 75X. But um, people that uh, fly these just uh, go around the house in a slow manner uh, will enjoy these. This, they could do this uh, flying really good. Here I'm going to go through the table legs. Now we're doing a thrust test. The 75X weighs 56 grams and it has a um, power to weight ratio of four and it has a maximum thrust of 370 grams. Next, we're going to go to the larger 85X. It weighs 64 grams, 
and it has an all-up weight of 90 grams with the 300 milliamp hour battery and it has a thrust of 411 grams with a power to weight ratio a little bit larger at 4.6. Now we're doing a range test. Uh, all the DJI quads do quite good with range. Um, the video, digital video comes back really clear and it does not break up. We're coming up to um, my house right here and my mailbox on the left is 165 meters. We're coming up to the uh, field. This uh, bike path right there is at 200 meters and that white fence you see in the background is at 300 meters. Uh, this will make it around and the uh, latency stays pretty good and the bit rate stays pretty good and my RSSI values on my receiver are adequate. So it made this 300 meters fairly good. I'm sure it could go at least another, on the video, another 100 meters and uh, a lot further than that with the uh, radio link. I'm going to fly back uh, into the house here. In the past, I've criticized other people for not flying them till they drop. But uh, with the range on these, <laughs> I just need to make a longer course somehow. I'm going to put it back on my uh, front step. I didn't have to have anyone pick this up for me. Okay, now we're doing uh, some indoor uh, lap testing for speed. Uh, the 75X is on the left and it's averaging 9.3 seconds per lap. And the 85X is running eight seconds per lap, which ties for my fastest of any of the uh, 20 or so quads that I have in my spreadsheet. So these did fairly good for indoor. I thought with the larger size, it wouldn't do as good, but they're right up there with some of the fastest. Now we're going to the outdoor course around the playground. And uh, the 75, again, is X is on the left. It's uh, averaging 12.7 seconds. And the 85X is averaging 13 seconds. Uh, this is not my fastest one for the 85X. I couldn't locate the video. I did two runs and I couldn't find the second one. Uh, but it was running at 12.3 uh, seconds per lap average. Overall, these are probably near the midi middle for my tiny whoops. I think if it were, if I had a few more days that I could try this, uh, a little bit warmer, less wind, I'd probably be another second or two faster. Now we're going to the uh, large field uh, to do uh, three laps to see what my average times are. The 75X on the left is running 20 seconds per lap average and the 85X uh, is running 19.3 seconds per lap uh, as an average for three consecutive laps. They both uh, fly quite well on these larger tracks. It's nice seeing this great video, uh, the digital vid video. Uh, you can see everything. There's not a lot of tree branches on this, but there's a few uh, coming up to this tree here. So um, I recommend this um, Beta FPV uh, 75 and 85X uh, to buy. Uh, it's probably not my highest choice. I think the uh, GEP RC uh, Rocket Plus I'd rank a little bit better, but uh, for it, this is a better unit for indoors. Um, but um, if you want mainly outdoors, I think the GEP RC uh, Rocket Plus 2 inch. Uh, would be my best one, uh, but when you put the indoor and outdoor aspect on it and all around and able to switch f frames from a 75 to an 85 uh, millimeter, uh, this ranks pretty good. Here's my whoop spreadsheet. Uh, these two are highlighted in yellow, and they rank pretty good with most of the different categories here. I think I gave them an overall average of 4 and 4.3 out of 5. 
And again, like I said, the um, indoor course, there are some of the faster ones. Uh, range, of course, uh, being DJI, uh, you're getting over 300 meters, which puts it at the top. Um, flight times, we're looking at three and three and a half minutes, depending on the uh, battery size. And uh, here's all my DJI smaller quads. I'm looking at doing a video uh, with 12 of these. I haven't finished making them all yet, uh, but uh, this is how they stand out, the DJI quads. Uh, again, like you can see, the rating on the GEP RC Rocket Plus is pretty good, but again, it's a more expensive quad. I was lucky to get this one on a good uh, clearance sale from Race to Wake quads like I did this Beta FPV 75. I was able to get it for $190 on a clearance sale that they had. They go pretty quick. You got to watch for the clearance sales and buy it quick when they do have them. But anyways, um, if you have any comments or questions, uh, please ask those in the descriptions below. I put both of these spreadsheets below too, so you could reference them and print them out. Um, and if you like this, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And this is John from Chicago, and thanks again for watching.